how to save SpaceX Starlink from big media in 60 seconds. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning, and that is it. Clean, refreshing, so good. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, maybe something harder, as I always say, depending on what part of the planet you're on. Today is going to be a tech day. It is another Starlink day. Something just transpired yesterday that I want to bring to your attention. It's very important. Before the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can do your part in helping SpaceX Starlink Basically, fight big media and allow your voice to be heard. And if you did not get the email that I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a direct link on how to get there once again to have your voice heard. So basically, in less than 60 seconds, you'll be able to contact all of your local representatives. For example, I'm in Florida. When I fill out this little sheet, it immediately sends it over to all of the representatives doesn't matter if it is Scott or if it is Rubio or one of the other representatives, they all get it immediately. And that will be the exact same thing that holds true for you. When you go and fill this out, you're going to be able to contact all of your local representatives without you having to do anything. The days we live in, guys, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing to me. Anyways, we're going to get into it, but let me first say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. They are free for you to download just for you being here. It's a way for me to say thank you. Also, if you want to say thank you, you could just by simply clicking the button right down here that says thank you or become a member of the channel. That would be awesome. And, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, please subscribe and click this little bell icon here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And I believe today I'm going to go live. So click that button so you know when it ends up happening and then you can participate in the community. And that's what this channel is all about. Community participation, not just me, just lecturing and talking. I get tired of hearing myself. Some of you guys said that I don't get tired of hearing myself and I should get to the damn point. And I think that a lot of you are right too. So anyways, let's try to dig in a little bit here. But before we do, don't forget, I created an entire Starlink playlist just for this type of topic. Go over to my channel, Jay Christina, over on YouTube, and then find Starlink and you'll find 50 plus videos on helpful how-tos, tricks, tips, commentary, all kinds of stuff related to Starlink. Go check that out. I was reading through an article over on CNBC, as well as the Washington Post and everywhere, and these articles were talking about what I talked about yesterday, and they just gave a little surface coding to what I already dug into. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I was talking about Starlink or SpaceX and how they were fighting with the FCC against DISH Network, as well as RSA and a couple of other companies um, about frequency and bandwidth. So they've been fighting about 12 gigahertz for a while. Some of the companies want the 12 gigahertz band to be for 5G. Of course, Elon Musk is using 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz for his Starlink. And some of the bullet points that were made on the CNBC article were these. SpaceX on Tuesday ramped up a battle over broadband regulations with Dish Network and an affiliate of billionaire Michael Dell. So if you don't know, that's that RSA, I believe, company. Michael Dell is from Dell Computers. He's got a crap ton of money. So to fight a little FCC thing, throw some money to a couple of lawyers, not a big deal for him. What he's getting out of it, I really don't know, but maybe he's somehow affiliated. I don't know the workings. Maybe in the comments below, let me know how Michael Dell is affiliated with Dish Network. Another key point was Elon Musk company called the FCC to address lingering dispute over broadband use that could interfere with Starlink satellite internet network. And finally, they said at the heart of the dispute was the 12 gigahertz band, a range of frequency used by broadband communication and the frequency's ability to support both ground-based and space-based service. Now, that's exactly what was going on. And that's what I was telling you about yesterday. Basically, what is happening is that Elon Musk, SpaceX is saying, look, we're using this frequency and we have 500,000 people that are on it currently. And we're looking at millions. 
We have 500,000 right now. And if, if you interfere with that frequency, our customers are going to experience 74% downtime. That's basically making Starlink 100% unusable. What they did say in the article, which I found fascinating, is that, quote, SpaceX isn't alone in opposing a potential expansion of the 12 gigahertz use. Telecom companies such as AT&T, Google, and Microsoft, and others all filed comments with the federal agency opposing the change. So it's not just Starlink that's saying this is going to be a problem. So what ended up happening was RSA, as well as Dish Network, put together a team of educated researchers that basically said, hey, you know, we can coexist. We can have our traffic on the same frequency as your traffic. And maybe through modulation or something, we can make sure that they don't somehow tread on top of one another. If you don't know anything about signal, basically it doesn't matter if it is video signal or if it is audio signal, doesn't matter what it is. There is an SNR or signal to noise ratio. And obviously the better your signal to noise ratio is, the better the communication is. When you start putting a whole bunch of trash on one frequency and then through modulation have to decipher what's what, you're going to slow down the process. And that's one of the major points of contention here is yes, you could run a whole bunch of crap over a specific band, but there's just a ton that has to be done to make it happen. It's a lot of money and you're never going to get a nice clean output. All right, you're going to get slow down because there has to be some type of algorithmic equation for this modulation and to decipher and to take it all apart. It's just simply stupid. SpaceX Starlink is already on 12.2 to 12.7, period. Leave them the hell alone. That's it. We don't want to see Starlink end up having a degraded service. And if those numbers are correct, and SpaceX did show a really nice chart showing exactly what this looks like from just some serious interference to a complete outage. And they're looking anywhere from 74 all the way up to 77, 78%. It's basically unusable at that point. So what we're going to do today is we're going to jump into this email that I just received. And the main reason I'm doing this is to bring this to your attention because number one, you are a Starlink customer. You don't want your service to go to shit. Or number two, you want to be a Starlink customer and you don't want to have crappy service. Or number three, you're just sick of the telcos and the big media and all the rest that are constantly harassing companies that start up that are doing well. And that is what I see with Starlink. A lot of these companies see the writing on the wall and Dish Network is one of them. And as I said in my last video, I was with Dish Network for like 20 years. And I finally ended up going to Starlink and went to IPTV. I'm gonna do an entire video just on that. And that was the end of it. I got rid of Dish Network completely. Said that was it, done. After 20 years, I don't need them anymore, period. And I think a lot of people are doing the exact same thing. And that is why Dish Network is trying to get involved with 5G. Not because they want 5G, because it'll be something nice. No, because the writing is on the wall and this geocentric satellites that are sending down TV signal are just going to be a thing of the past, period. That is it. They know they're going to have to move their broadband to or their TV coverage or their TV broadcast to some type of 5G or maybe even a 6G network. That is it. It's terrestrial. That's my opinion. Anyways, let's get into this email and get this done. Enough of my jabbering my lips here. I got this email. The email came through to me yesterday and it took a little while. Some people said that they got it and I'm like, why in the hell am I not getting it? And I finally did. This is what the email looks like. It says, today we ask for your support in ending a lobbying campaign that threatens to make Starlink unusable for you and the vast majority of American customers. As recently reported, Dish Network has been hoarding Spectrum for years as a strategy for preventing open and fair competition. Let me just interject here before I read any more of this email. I am more pissed about this, not just because I am a Starlink user now, I am not a fanboy. 
What I am is someone that has seen the difference between a company actually doing what they say that they were going to do when taking government money, a subsidy to build out rural America. They actually did it. Whereas all the rest of these telco have been taking money for years and years and years and never have done shit. All right. I have my telco, like I told you guys, that are literally thousand feet away and they won't provide us fiber for over a decade. All right. Where Elon said, look, we're going to take in this subsidy because I'm almost positive he is. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. He is bringing in some governmental subsidies for, let's say, bridging this digital divide, the haves and have nots, the people that have high speed and the ones that don't. He's actually damn doing it. Whereas all the rest of these people are just jibber jabbering. They don't do shit. All right. So now you know my feeling on it. Anyways, let's get back into this email. Most recently, DISH has been attempting to claim new rights to the 12 gigahertz band, which is the spectrum you currently use to download content with Starlink. Despite technical studies dating back as far as 2016 that refutes the basis of their claims, DISH has employed paid lobbyists who are attempting to mislead the FCC with faulty analysis in hopes of obscuring the truth. In reality, if DISH gets their way, Starlink customers will experience harmful interference more than 77% of the time and total outage of service 74% of the time, rendering Starlink unusable for most Americans. And then they direct you to where you can read about this. And this is important information. Now, under that, it shows you a link. Now, some people have seen this link and they're like, oh my God, I think that this is fake. Uh, maybe it's some type of phishing link. I don't want to click on it. Well, let me just tell you this specific link is real. Now it says the FCC and your members of Congress have power to stop this effort, but they need to hear from you. So if you click this button, it says click here to ask the FCC and members of Congress to put an end to this threat. Now, Let's go ahead and click on this and I'm going to show you how to step through it. Once again, it is very quick. This is not something that takes a long time at all. And what I like about this is you can do it all in one spot. And where I go is the same place that you go. So if you did not get this email or it went into your junk or trash or whatever, I'm going to give you the link here, but I'll also put it in the pinned comment as well as in the description so you could just simply click on it. Once again, the link is the same for me as you. The only thing that changes is it figures out where you're located in the United States and then it addresses and targets those specific senators, those specific Congress people, those specific representatives of your state and sends your information or your request to all of them. When we click on it, you can see right at the top, it says Starlink Action Center. Don't let DISH disable your internet. The site is called Voter Voice. They are, I would say, like a aggregate. They take your information and they send it to the appropriate party. So obviously here it gives you some background, everything that I just told you. And if we just scroll down here, we can see review first message. Now, the first message is already plugged in there. And as you can see, it says, I'm writing to ask that you urge the FCC to quickly complete its review, blah, 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 right? That's already stuck in there. Well, what I'm interested in is the message body here. And then if we scroll down, there's another message body underneath that. So what it's going to do is going to send one message to your U.S. senator or representative of your state and another message directly to the FCC. All right. And once again, I think that this is imperative that not only you just scroll down to the bottom and hit send, which you could. And like I said, this will only take 60 seconds. What I did is I went in here and I actually typed something that I thought would be more personal. And the reason being is I think that being personal about these type of forms is very important because the majority of them are only going to be counted. And the ones that actually have a comment in there, that is not the boilerplate comment that's already put in there that they all have. When you put something in there specific, the chances of it being looked over is highly more likely. 
So I like to write something in there, and that's basically what I did. I explained that this has been revolutionary to me, and I explained why. And I talked about the telcos and how they have been taking subsidies for so many years, and they have done shit. And SpaceX Starlink has been the only one that has actually done a damn thing and put it out there for all of us to use in rural America. Now, is it perfect? It is not. It is not even close. They have a lot of work to do. And I would like to say one thing. If Elon ever watches this crap that I put together, we scratch your back, man. Come on, man. You need to scratch ours. Okay. We're going to help you out. But I think it would be nice if you would help us out also by putting together some type of call center and a call center in the area where the calls are coming from. What that means is, is if I'm calling a call center, I don't want to speak to someone that is speaking Hindi. I don't speak Hindi. I wish I did, but I don't. Put a call center that I would call into somewhere in the U.S. and give the jobs to the people in the U.S. If you need a call center in Pakistan, well, supply the Pakistani people with the work and allow Pakistani to speak to Pakistani, it just makes sense. When I talk to some of these people that I talk to on a regular basis when it comes to tech stuff, half the time they're all over the place. Sometimes they're in India, sometimes they're in China or wherever, and I don't understand what the hell they're saying. And it's not that they're stupid. These are brilliant people, all right? I just have this communication barrier. I'm stupid because I don't speak Mandarin or Cantonese. I don't speak Hindi. I just don't speak it. All right. So anyways, that's my little rant. Put a damn call center, at least in the U.S., and do it soon. Because a lot of people out here are saying, listen, we just want to talk to someone. All right. And making it so obscure to be able to communicate with SpaceX Starlink is not a good thing. It doesn't look good. That's just for me to you. Anyways, back into this. So what we do is we finalize this message. And when we scroll down to the bottom, we enter in our first name, our last name, our email address, our street address, as well as our zip code. Then you can select or unselect send me email alerts and remember me. Either which way, click send. And once you do, you can see it will now provide you with a list. It says confirmation. Thank you for helping ensure Starlink remains usable for you and the vast majority of Americans. With your help, we hope to prevent the lobbyists from winning and ensure your continued access to high-speed, low-latency internet. The Starlink team will continue to fight this battle and will provide an update once an outcome is reached. Thanks again for your support. And then it lists everyone that I sent this message to, or they sent it for me. And we can see Senator Marco Rubio. We can see Senator Rick Scott, so on and so forth. Other representatives, they all got it, including the FCC. So I think this is very, very important in my personal opinion. And if this is helpful in any way, please throw this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family, colleagues, Reddit, wherever, Facebook, Wherever it is, share it. Let's grow this channel. Let's get this word out. I think it is very important. Once again, even if you're not a Starlink user and you want to be in the future or you are just sick of big media just taking over everything and be able to lobby their way into power, it's just damn annoying. It's always been annoying to me. Anyways, once again, I hope this has helped. Please throw this video a thumbs up. Click this little bell icon over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.